I guess that's game. Let me know if you ever want a rematch. No rematch. I joined the Shadow Riders to find a duelist who would be worthy to be my husband. But I've already discovered I am not worthy to be with someone as strong as you. Farewell, Bastion. Well then, I guess that that's that. Boy, Bastion, you sure know how to pick them. Don't worry, buddy. There's plenty of fish in the sea. I mean, okay. I mean, I guess I'd be sad too if an Amazonist woman left. That's a very good choice for a woman. I bet Jasmine would look great as an Amazonist. Somebody draw that. <laughs> Alright, a reason to win. Uh, Alexis tended to her brother in the infirmary. <laughs> yeah, Jasmine's sitting right behind me with the uh, the bonk, the horny hammer. Uh, a mysterious voice suddenly filled her head, saying that she could save her brother under one condition, that she beat him in a duel. It was the voice of Titan. Uh, thought to be lost to the Shadow Realm, he had returned as one of the Shadow Riders. Alright, so we duel, and if I win, you restore my brother's memories. That's the deal. Your end of it, at least. If I win, I get something too. Your spirit key and your soul to take back with me to the Shadow Realm. When you and I first met up, I was but a charlatan of the shadows. However, since being taken in by them, I am now the real deal, an authentic Shadow Rider. Let us begin. Alright, now we get to play with the Cyberblader deck. Okay, Magic Hole Golem. That looks kind of like uh, the ring fit thing. <laughs> Once per turn, you can select the face up monster you control. Its attack is halved until the end phase, and it can attack your opponent directly this turn. Uh, during the turn you activate this effect, only the selected monster can attack. Okay. Monsters with 1500 more attack points cannot declare an attack once per turn during your standby phase to pay 100 life points. Okay, let's do that for sure. No. Etoile Saber, Cyber, which is one of the fusion ones. This card attacks your opponent directly. Okay, well, let's summon that. Well, I guess the Cyber deck is all about attacking directly. I have such a huge crush on Alexis when I watch the anime. Who doesn't? She's awesome. She has such a good design and also she's a really good character. Yeah? Uh, Infer Infernal Queen Archfiend. Oh right, he plays Archfiends. Uh, no. Gosh. Okay, uh, so I need a, s what was it? Blade Skater, I need the Blade Skater. Now I just need to draw Polymerization. Um, Alright, well let's set Magical Golem. Oh, I can't attack. That's okay. Battle scarred. You want John Pog Champ? Support us on Twitch. Can someone uh, please explain why the Pog Champ is a fucking kimono dragon? I don't know. Cyber Tutu. I might have to summon Cyber Golem, or the this Golem. If the, the attack of each monster your opponent controls is higher than the attack of this card, this card can attack your opponent directly. Let's summon that. Uh, that should be okay to summon this since uh, he can't attack. 
Uh, oh, I see. If I have that, but then... Yeah, let's activate this effect. Select a 12 Cyber. And then she can attack directly, and she'll gain the 500, which will be 1100, which is more than Cyber 2-2. Okay. Oh, he's gonna just life point himself out. I mean, summon all you want, it's not gonna do anything. Okay. Oh, shh. Alright, let's uh, change to defense mode. And now I have another Cyber 2 2, which means uh, I can just uh, do 2,000 points of damage, which is much better. Why? I mean, it's. It must be a reference to another streamer, I just don't know who. I mean, that's definitely a cool, uh, that's a cool, um, let's see. The original guy? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we know why it's no longer the original Pong Champ. I think, I think Laurel was asking, uh, why it was specifically a Komodo dragon, not why isn't it the normal, um, the normal guy. Okay, let's do Mystical Space Typhoon on Pandemonium. Cause screw you. Uh... Whoops! I'm reading the prompts too fast. Uh, no. I think I forgot to summon this turn. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay! He's gonna life point himself out. Ooh, lycanthrope. And then he tributed it for summon skull. Okay, sure, whatever you want, man. I think I just won. <laughs> I won by virtue of him not being able to attack at all. Uh, if this card is tribute summon, destroy all face up spell cards on the field. Well, I don't want to do that, but at this point it doesn't really matter since it's the end of the duel. Alright, let's summon it. Uh, I guess I don't need the, the magic hole golem. Cyber Prima. Okay. Now, Cyber 2 2, attack and finish this duel. No, not again! Atticus. Lexi. Addy, welcome back. Thanks, Lex, for everything. Wait, there are so many unanswered questions. Like, how did you ever end up in the Shadow Realm? Titan said you did it for the power. Believe me, Lexi. I never chose to go. One day, a few of us were told to meet at an abandoned dorm, and then it happened. There was supposed to be a duel test in the basement, but instead we found hundreds of those little shadow fiends. I couldn't escape. I was brought to the Shadow Realm. They brainwashed me for months until I became this thing called Night Shroud. By who? Who was it that brainwashed you? I never did figure that out. However, the person who called me to take the duel test was Professor Banner. Our Professor Banner? So he's in on it? Ooh, what a twist. 
Amnail's Endgame. The final Shadow Rider, Amnail, appeared and took Chaz, Alexis, and Professor Banner's spirit keys. Amnail was now after Jaden, Yuki, and the final key. While searching for Amnail, Jaden and his friends were led to the abandoned dorm. Exploring the dorm, they discovered a mysterious cave with a large coffin in the corner. Pushing aside the coffin revealed the mummified remains of Professor Banner. But to their greater surprise, Amnil emerged from the shadows and removed his mask to reveal that he was also Professor Banner in disguise. Two Professor Banners? Talk about deja vu. If you're you, then who's that mummy? Don't call me Banner. I am Amnil, your greatest foe. To get any of your friends back, you have to beat me. And if you cannot defeat me, you will be joining them. All of you. Come on, Prof, snap out of it! It's best you forget the one he you knew as Banner. He is no more. What do you mean, no more? To understand everything, you must first... You must do just one thing. And that is to duel and defeat me, Jaden. Only then will the truth be revealed. Only then will the secrets be unlocked. Will you accept this challenge? Will you face me? Of course I'll face you! Let's throw down! Alright. Yes, and I get first turn. Oh, nice! And a hero signal. That's a very good one. Set that. Oh, I got Blade Edge on the first turn. That's really good. Uh, let's start with Sparkman. What monsters do I have? I have a full extra deck. Wild Edge, Thunder Giant, Tempest. Ooh, Shining Flare Wingman. It's Flame Wingman plus Sparkman. Oh wow, so I have to summon a Flame Wingman first? Okay, Rampant Blaster, Mudball Man, uh, Elemental Hero Mariner. There is Flame Wingman and Electrum. Elemental Hero Berserker plus Clay Man plus Bubble Man. This card is also Wind, Water, Fire, and Earth attribute. <laughs> As well as light, I guess. Shuffle all banished cards into the deck. Oh, cool. That's good for if we get Fusion Gate. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Yes? Uh, the monster you control is destroyed by battle, says the graveyard. Special summon a level 4 or lower elemental hero from your hand or deck. Uh, what is avian form? Let's see. Not that one. That's uh, Sparkman Clayman. Uh, Sparkman Bubbleman. Wingman, Flame Wingman, Sparkman, Clayman, Burstrinatrix, Bubbleman, Clayman, Bubbleman, Avian. Okay, so maybe if I use this one? No, that's not very good still. Uh, Avian, Burstrinatrix. Yeah, this one might be my best shot. Okay, so I'll let I'll let Sparkman be destroyed. So I can summon Burstrinatrix. And hope that I get polymerization as well. Nope, oh, nope, it's just Sparkman again. Alright. Uh well, let's just summon that. I can use Mirror Force on whatever he does next. I have no idea what his deck archetype is based on just this card. Um, if I don't draw Polymerization, I'll just use Blade Edge. 
Oh, seven colored fish. Does he have just normal monsters? Man, he must play old school. Ah, there we go. Special summon banishing a fire monster. Okay, well... Don't have much of a choice. I'll draw another Burst Trinitrix for sure. Neither of his face down cards were defense card. Oh. Ah, okay. Now I get it. He's milling his deck. Alright, Clayman. Um, yeah, let's set this for now. Oh, wow, Helios. Equal to the number of removed from play monsters. Alright. Well, that just did him a ton of damage. Mjolnir is Reese. What, from Raid? Or. Ah, oh, I just drew polymerization! Whatever. I know I don't have any cards to defend with, but this should do a lot of damage. He'd be dumb to summon anything in attack mode anyway. Yep. Did I just win? No, not yet. But close. Alright, I think I won! Alright, well, he just gave up. Hey, spark man. That's whoops. No, 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 no. Oh, dang it. Okay, I can activate it still. I know this isn't particularly useful to do, but you know, whatever. Actually, I probably could have just summoned another blade edge. Elemental hero, thunder giant. Oh, we get to see the animation. I forgot about that. Uh-oh. Elemental Absorber. Okay. Uh, discard one card, target a face-up monster with less attack and destroy... Okay, well, I don't want to do that. Alright, Blade Edge, let's just finish him off. Yeah, we want. 